Hello, anybody. Don Pollock here with another visit to the archives of my world, where we get to take a look at things that we haven't seen in a long time, like my hairstyle from the 90s, which comes back every time, uh, every, time every barbershop in North America is closed. But uh, that's one of the most inconsequential effects of the coronavirus, as was driven home to me recently when I learned of the passing of a prominent South Jersey businessman with whom I had worked on a number of occasions. His name was Steve Ravitz, and he owned the ShopRite supermarkets in South Jersey. And his, uh, his succumbing to COVID-19 is, is a loss for the South Jersey business community. He was a beloved family man. He was a, a prominent community supporter. And for me, for me, he was, he was the go-to guy when I needed a shot inside a supermarket. I would call him up and immediately he'd be very cooperative and accommodating. He'd say, sure, come on down, I'll, I'll tell him you're coming. You just, just, just go in and get whatever shots you need. It was, uh, it was a lot easier than going through the, uh, the levels of corporate executive vice presidents at the home office who would get back to me in three days with permission. Anyway, I had done a number of stories, as I said, with him, and many of them, like the two I'm going to share with you today, wouldn't have been possible without Steve Ravitz. One of them was a creative idea that he came up with uh, for one of his supermarkets where he had a contest for engaged couples, and the winning uh, couple would, have an all, would, get, would win an all-expense-paid wedding. But the wedding would take place in the supermarket during business hours on Valentine's Day. It was just a reflection of his creativity and, a, and sense of whimsy. But before we get to that, I'd like to share with you a story that I had been mulling over for a number of months. Uh, when I finally decided to do it, I gave Steve Rabbits a call. And as usual, he was very accommodating and cooperative. He said, sure, sounds like fun. Come on in. We'll get things set for you. This after I told them what the subject of the story was, and that was something that I found very annoying and very frustrating about supermarkets. Now, this was 15 years ago, and, and I guess we've gotten used to it, uh, but I still find it very irksome, and maybe you do too. Take a look. The freedom of choice. Each time we walk into a polling place, we realize it's the principle that defines our American way of life. And each time we walk into a supermarket, we realize it's becoming a real pain in the basket, with shoppers being overwhelmed with choices, endless variations of what used to be a single product that leads to a condition that could be called choice fatigue. It drives you crazy. Trying to find one of anything anymore. I don't know what to choose. We figure we have about 125,000 different items. I mean, it's not enough just to know that you want to buy a Colgate toothpaste, that's only the beginning. Now you've got to decide if you want tartar control, cavity protection, whitening, tartar control plus whitening, total, total gel, total with stripes, whitening in liquid gel, whitening in a stand-up tube, an icy blend, fresh mint, maximum strength, sensitive, sensitive plus whitening, baking soda and peroxide, fried mint, soda and peroxide, clean mint. An array so overwhelming it makes just settling for gingivitis the simpler alternative. But you have that one customer looking for that crest with baklava in it. <laughs> and you gotta carry it. It is crazy. I don't like to have too many choices. It does get aggravating. Because it lengthens your shop and trip. Choice fatigue takes up the time and space you give it. If you give yourself hours of shopping, you're gonna go ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching, You have to come with a list. I follow the list. Yeah, but if your list only has three items on it, it still calls for a level of decision-making horsepower usually reserved for a Mideast peace negotiation. For example, for Cheerios, do you want regular teen Cheerios, frosted, multi-grain, honey nut, or apple cinnamon? To go with your Tropicana orange juice that comes in original, growth sand, home style, low acid, lots of pulp, some pulp, no pulp, double C or calcium. And your Thomas's English muffins that are offered in original cinnamon, cinnamon, raisin, honey, wheat, sourdough, oat bran, raisin bran, maple crunch, toast, and blueberry. So that's three items calling for 26 inches individual consumer decisions. And we haven't even gotten past breakfast. Christ, I haven't put that amount of thought into my career. That's, That's obvious. obvious. Okay, now that wasn't necessary. Never ends. We have Fritos with, we have Fritos without. We have Fritos extra added with and without. Psychologically, we learn the decision making, we learn it on small things, and then we go on to the big ones, because you have more things to do with your life. Now you should go for the cheapest. That's it, it's on sale, it's mine. But still, I gotta be honest with you, it's enough to give most shoppers a headache. Sounds like you need some Tylenol. Do you want gel tabs? Gel cap, cap left. Regular strength? Extra strength. Non-drowsy allergy sinus. Same, Don Pollock. Wait a minute, I'm just getting to the flavor. Channel 6, action news. Many a young woman dreams about the day that they'll walk down the aisle as a bride, 
However, probably none of them dream that the aisle they'll be walking down is uh, the uh, produce aisle of the local supermarket. But that is exactly where Vincent Pott and the apple of his eye, May Stone, both widowed, both hopeless romantics, were set to exchange vows inside the Mount Laurel ShopRite in an all-expense-paid Valentine's Day wedding that was the first prize in a supermarket contest. That was just a wild idea that I had. We had a random drawing contest. And believe it or not, we had 92 entries. We entered it, we won it, and here we are. <laughs> it's different. We, we, we like to do things that are different. They make a wonderful pair. I love it because I believe in fruits, vegetables, and everything wonderful. And this is what happens. It makes you blossom and bloom. We all want to say that I do. That's it. That's what we like to say. Not a long uh, ceremony or anything. Oh, but yeah, but you can take the express aisle. Right? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I've married uh, many people over the years. I've married people in the hospital and VFW halls, uh, but the first time in a produce aisle, the shopping center. Let us rejoice for Vincent and May to come together to witness and joining of their marriage. First of all, if you have any coupons. Okay, so it's not exactly Westminster Abbey, but as it turned out for the several hundred shoppers who took a few moments from their grocery list to stop and view the Valentine's night ceremony, the setting did have certain advantages. Honor and keep her to forsake all others so long as you both shall live. I do. And for one very lucky couple, it was a beginning that was both unique and convenient. What is sure to be a warm and wonderful life together. From the Mount Wall Shoprite Supermarket, I'm Don Pollock, Channel 6 Action News.